you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says calculate the number of moles present in 40 g g here means grams of this compound this is a compound i see a compound it is made up of different elements and i believe you know that's how a compound is a compound is made up of various elements and these elements are combined together chemically so how do we solve this question it is extremely very easy now from the look of things they are asking us to calculate the number of moles of this compound they gave us the mass so before we solve this question we have to know the concept to which this question is from and from the look of things this question on the board is on a very vital aspect in chemistry called the mole concept all right the mole concept and if you understand the mole concept properly you'll be able to understand the topic stoichiometry because mole concept is basically like the foundational aspect under this aspect of chemistry called stoichiometry and they are asking us to calculate number of moles now note this number of moles is symbolized as n and we have about five basic formulas for numbers of moles the formula that we use to solve any question on that mole concept stoichiometry under this aspect is strictly based on the parameter given to us I already have a full video lesson on my YouTube channel where I explained exhaustively from the scratch down to mastery where I solved over 30 practice questions in that lesson on everything you have to know about more concept. This is just one aspect out of all the concepts you have to know on this topic which I've done on my YouTube channel. Ensure you go watch that lesson on my channel. To assess the lesson, simply just go to your YouTube search bar and hit on the name nurse bright then you get access to the video lesson remember i said that we have five formulas you have to note for number of moles and the formula to use is based on the parameter given to you in this question i saw g which is grams and grams miss mass when i see that i already know the formula i'm to use which is the first formula i gave in that video lesson which is number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass from the look of things, we were given mass already, all right? The mass in the question is 40 grams. So number of moles will now be 40 grams divided by molar mass. Wow, how do we calculate molar mass of a compound? Very easy. Let's bring down the compound. The compound is Na2CO3, all right? In most exam conditions, they will give you the atomic masses of this element. Just relax. These are the atomic masses of these elements that combine together to form this compound. For sodium, the atomic mass is 23, all right? That's the first element here. For the next element, which is carbon, the atomic mass is 12. It's something you should know, but in most exam conditions, they will give you, all right? But that's why you should go and watch my full video lesson. I explained on everything you have to know about this topic, all right? Whether for the atomic mass of oxygen, is 16 so these atomic masses you are to add them together alongside with the numbers you have for the elements to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen so molar mass all right molar mass i'm going to use mm in this case molar mass not because of what's the atomic mass of sodium i told you already it's 23 all right since we have two sodium specifically it's called two atoms of sodium we have two atoms so we're going to times by two two times two and i said we are adding we are adding these, these atomic masses so going over to carbon we're going to add plus carbon atomic mass is 12. since we have no number for carbon we are not two times are you there so we are done with carbon we simply go back to oxygen all right plus oxygen atomic mass is 16 but we have to do a feed that times three all right molar mass will not be equal to 46 plus 12 plus 48 when you hit your calculator the molar mass of this compound becomes 106 grams per moles are you there so that is what we are going to impute down for the molar mass of the compound so 106 grams per mole all right gram cancels gram where the number of moles when we hit our calculator will not be 40 divided by 106 that's 
about um, 0 0.377 and when we approximate when we approximate it's going to be 0 0.38 i believe you know how we've approximated all right so let's impute the unit what's the remaining mol which you can also write in full to be mole which is mole you know mol is mole mol is still mole all right so you can see all of the options in the question and what's the answer to this question option a you can see how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress all right remember i said that on my youtube channel i already have a full video lesson under this aspect so ensure you go watch that lesson so you understand every other aspect under this topic all right but here is your practice question before i end this class lesson all right so you have to solve for me uh i'm changing my i'll change mass to 20 grams all right of i'm going to change the compound or uh, h2so4 where i'll give you the atomic masses of these elements involved hydrogen is here atomic mass is one sulfur is here atomic mass is 32 oxygen also here atomic mass is 16. so solve for the number of moles present in 20 grams of h2so4 and provide the answer in the comment section we've come to the end of this video lesson if you find my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lessons with your friends Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.